Gloria de Clares arrived stunned but lucky to be alive after she was electrocuted by her own toaster. Well, I was very lucky. In fact, I think what saved me was the fact that I have leather shoes on with rubber soles. <laughs> Gloria had just got home from bingo and was feeling a little peckish. Oh, the freeze, pancakes for tea. She decided to pop some pancakes into the toaster, but events took a shocking turn when Gloria pressed the lever. A blue flash sparked, and faster than she could shout, house, she was thrown across the kitchen. Dazed but not phased by the snack attack, Gloria had another go, with an unsurprisingly similar outcome. <laughs> Staff's main concern is for Gloria's heart, which has been set racing by the treacherous toaster. If someone's had an adequately enough shock, then potentially it can it can knock your heart into a what we call a ventricular fibrillation, which is, uh, I can only describe it as like a load of worms in a bag, that your heart's literally doing this. Death can occur if, uh, if it's not dealt with quick enough. As if Gloria hadn't had enough of bread-related run-ins, Dr Baker pops up. Hello. And gets right to the heart of the matter. We've given you a good check over in your, your heart tracing, the ECG that we did is normal. Um, and so I think we can give you a clear bill of health, really, from this. Mom. But before he can discharge her, Dr Baker wants to check that Gloria hasn't fried her fingers. Got any burns on there at all? No. Or toasted her tootsies. Uh, fine. When electricity passes through the body, it can cause burns at the entry and exit points. I think we can let you go home. With the all clear, Gloria can head home. But will those pancakes still be waiting for her? Oh, I've eaten them. <laughs> I have a sense to eat them. <laughs> and dinner tonight? Well, nothing toasted, that's for sure. <laughs> no doubt she'll be heading home for a nice cup of cocoa to toast her good health.